Hi, this is Joanne Hewins with love to create .com. Um, uh, Today I'm taking part in the OSAT or the One Stamp at a Time blog hop and I'm using the Stamp Set Dino Days and on the video I really want to show you how to make this uh, sour cream container. And uh, But first let me show you a few things. We're going to be using the Dino Days stamp set. This is new from Stampin' Up! with the new catalog and it's part of a suite. This suite is found on pages 98, 99, and then on over to 100. And you can see they have the papers, the stamp set, the dies, uh, they have some cute little uh, enamel shapes, uh, and then uh, the blue jean looking ribbon is also part of that suite. Uh, the dies are called dino dies and they look like this. So uh, let me also show you some of the papers that come with the dino days uh, or the dino roar paper. Uh, what I like about this paper is that it's not only for boys. It's got some uh, pink colors in there and some things that make you think of girls because they can like dinosaurs too. So there's this one. This reminds me a little bit of the tropical chic that we still have. The, the yellowish colors and more of the tropical. Here's a bluish color for the boys. There you go. And then this is the paper we're going to be using today, the triangles. There's another pinkish and blue sheet with eggs on the back. And then smaller dinosaurs with this uh, print. And then the larger dinosaurs and this uh, print, dinosaur print. I'd also like to point out that the, the dies will cut out some of these larger dinosaur shapes. So it's always nice to have more than one use for some of this. But they, they will cut those out. Uh, so I think that's a, a pretty neat thing. Okay, now a new dies fit right up on a shape. So the other ones used to have a little white line around, and once these cut, they often do have that line around them still. But I think this helps you to line them up a lot easier than maybe we could have before. Today we're also going to be using some of the new Subtles 6x6. We're going to be using, uh, well actually I use this on the card. Uh, this was the subtles for this right here, and I just wanted to show you the the, the uh, prints for this year. Uh, this is a gingham, and then kind of a diagonal type thing. This is a script, and I don't know what that is, but it's awfully cute. So those I used on the card. This isn't the pool party. Pool party is what I used on there. But uh, here's the card. I think this one is pretty self-explanatory. And what might be a little diff more difficult, I'll explain with the, the uh, uh, sour cream holder. Now, these are called that because sour cream used to come in something that was a shape like this. I don't know if it does anymore or not, but the name has held and this is kind of a little something old because this has been around for quite a while. My paper is four by six and I've kind of rolled it around a little bit to make it a little, little bit easier to adhere. I'm going to take my tear and tape and I'm going to put it down one of the shorter sides. And then we'll just get this up. Now I've got some that's sticking out right there. I'm just going to fold it back on itself. And that should be fine. And then what I want to do is adhere this so that it becomes a cylinder. OK. 
Okay. So now we have our cylinder. And I'm going to take one end of this and just push it down at the end. Now I've got my seam going right down the middle here. Uh, I don't know that that matters a lot, but that's what I did. And then I'm going to take another piece of tear and tape and put it right inside there. And then I'll push down on that and that should adhere that end of my uh, holder. Now at this time you would fill your holder with whatever it is you want to put in there. Uh, and I don't have anything to put in there right now so I'm just going to pretend that I have filled it up with goodies. And I'm going to fold it opposite what I did before. So I really have ended up with the seam on the side now. And so I'll take a little bit more tear and tape. Put that right inside here. Sorry about this. It's, I never claim to be coordinated. Okay. And then we'll get and I really need to have my take your pick tool, but I don't have it laying here right now. And then you just push that shut, and there, there is your container. So it's as easy as that. Uh, you can see it wouldn't take long to whip up a bunch of these. Okay, now to decorate it, I have uh, some of the Grow Green ribbon. This is the Pineapple Punch. I could just as well use the uh, lovely lipstick on this project. I'm going to use the Pineapple Punch because I don't use yellow as much. This is a good chance for me to, to use the yellow. Uh, so I'm going to take just a dimensional and put it right there where I'm going to cross that. And all I did was kind of turn this around or loop it around to try to figure out about how long I wanted to have it. And then I can always go back and trim some if I want to. Okay, I can see that that does not want to stay because the ribbon is covering up a bunch of the sticky. So I'm just going to put a little uh, glue dot on the back of that. I could add another dimensional on the back if I wanted more dimension. And now I've got that stuck there. Alright, and the next thing I want to do is add a starburst of a pool party. The starburst is one of the old items that I'm using today. And uh, so I just want to punch out one of those. And we'll use it uh, to decorate. And then I need the dinosaur. So I'm going to bring in some white paper. I had some laying out, but I don't seem to see it anymore. So we'll just get out another piece. And I'm going to stamp the dinosaur in lovely lipstick. And he is supposed to have this watercolored look about him. I'm going to stamp my words, which is the your roar roarsome. And I'm using another stamp set to help me with the the uh, hearts that are on there. And this is the Love You to Pieces stamp set. So I'm going to stamp the hearts and put those right in there. And then there's one more thing I'm going to need for my dinosaur and that's his yellow plates that come down the back. So I'm going to get that stamp. And the good thing about this is that when you cut it out with the dies, it leaves you a space 
to attach these plates to the dinosaur. So I'm actually leaving a little bit of space so that I could cut that out. And when you would cut this out, it would, you would need to place your um, die around like that. You're going to see you have that extra space in there. Okay? Well, I've already cut out the dinosaur and his plates back behind. I am going to still need to cut out my sayings. I'm just going to kind of cut around this real quick and we'll cut that out. You know how I like to do stuff like this. Okay, and now I think we're ready to get it all together. Now to put the plates on the dinosaur, I'm going to use my Tombow glue. And you really don't want much, you just want to get a little bit around those edges. And then I'm just going to kind of lay him down on there. And you can see they even have a little space there where his little arm can go. So there's my dinosaur. And I'm going to add him to my Starburst with Dimensionals. I think I'm going to get one of these that I had cut in half to stick out there on his face. So I'm going to stick him on there. For the saying, I'm going to put a little bit of snail on this side and then a dimensional out here on the other side. Actually, I'll just put a couple. And we'll put this down here. And we're ready to attach this to um, the uh, container. So we'll just put a lot more dimensionals around. I want it to, to hold really well, so I'm, I'm going to use a lot. Some of you may go, oh, that's okay. And I'm actually going to try to curl this around just a, a little. Okay, we'll pull those off. And we'll add this to the front of our um, sour cream holder. And there you go. I've got another one just like the first one that I made. So here are the containers. And here is the card. Now if you need any supplies, uh, there should be a link underneath this video that you can go to my online store or you can go to lovetocreate.typepad.com and there are links there. Thank you so much. I'm Joanne Hewins. Bye-bye.